Welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling arise now in today's video what I want to do is discuss about the new character so I already made a video going over how strong this character is I do believe once you alter this character her damage is actually crazy good but I want to talk about whether or not you guys should be summoning for her or you should be skipping for her. Now before I carry on with the video guys don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on solo leveling arise if you guys enjoy my content then absolutely support the channel by clicking the like button um you know letting get letting this video get to 50 likes and if you guys want to continue to support this channel there will be a link to the official content creator program for netmarble where you guys can go ahead and support me that way as well so that I can then go ahead and send you guys coupon codes that will give you guys a lot of essence stones now I will have a link to my discord server to ensure that once these codes are out and I send it to all of you guys you guys can make sure that you guys have used all these codes so join the discord server as well so that you guys can get updates on the new codes and just discuss and we can help you guys out if you're finding it difficult to clear a workshop of brilliant light or any content in this game then I will go ahead and help you guys out as well now I don't know if you guys can notice but I've actually reduced my uh, resources have reduced because I realized one thing with this character you need to get her to A3 to consistently be able to alt whenever you are on her or whenever you need her so what I've noticed is of course I got the weapon as well I've got some weapon to plus uh, 3 advancement 3 which charges the user's power gauge by 40% when the user enters the stage and increases the crit rate and crit damage which is very very good but to be able to alt when you start the match having this higher up is going to be helpful but you also want to get the advancement free now many people are saying is this character a good dps the answer is yes but you've also got to realize even though many people don't talk about hong dong su he is also a good dps character yes maybe not on the same tier as alicia or as, as cha Haim, but that's the same thing with this character until you get her to a free uh, she's not going to be on the same tier as Alicia or Trahain in my opinion. So yeah, she's not essentially broken. I think once you get her to A5 and you're comparing her damage with the rest of them, she's definitely top 3. So she's definitely top 3 once you get her to A3, um, A, uh, A5 to so max out. However, at low investment for free to play players, if you're not able to consistently alt, you will find this character to be a little bit lacking in damage because her alt increases her damage by a lot so by that you can actually just work on hong dong su instead so if you have or you have gotten unlucky to have a lot of dupes for this guy and you're free to play maybe a3 a1 is very important honestly for hong dong su so a1 and i guess a3 and then you can definitely just use him over this brand new character so i've got her to a3 eventually i will be able to get her to a5 because once she gets added into the special or the costume draw i will be able to summon for her as well i actually recently summoned and got melon fisher from here as well so that's actually fantastic so i'm actually going to keep summoning right now actually whilst i had carry on talking about this character so is the character good the answer is absolutely yes she is actually a very very strong character the issue is that a3 is where i think she she needs to be actually very crazy because a1 is very good of course increasing i think it's crit rate and crit damage but you do want oh this is gonna suck so that's nothing you do want advancement free so that you are able to alt whenever you're off field which i will show you guys gameplay of when that actually happens because i'm able to consistently alt with the uh, the investment i've had on this character her damage is good as well but if you take a look at the there we go advancement five this is when she sees a significant increase to her damage if you take a look at this so increases the damage of her sword technique type five um by by 80 percent so this right here shows you what you need to make this character insanely broken to be on the same tier as alicia at him that a5 is very important besides of course being able to consistently alt you now want to be able to let this attack do insane amount of damage so type 3 is this one so to be able to do insane crazy damage from this skill yeah that uh that a5 is definitely going to be important so the, the main thing 
that the advancement one two and three does is to allow you to consistently alt and then moving forward it's just to increase the overall damage she deals so she is a good character don't get me wrong but if you're a free to play player you might consider not summoning for this character unless you can get her to a3 or at least a1 i've already made a video on this but whenever we get a new character a1 is literally where you want to get the character because a1 always gives them significant boost to the damage and overall kit that they have now we already know who the next character should be oh by the way there is going to be a wind type buffer coming soon like it's a healer but should also be a buffer similar to um it's min and similar to melon fisher so i think she's a good character but she doesn't have a good team at the moment she she does not have a good team at the moment you could use her with um Wun Jun Cho. he's actually a good breaker right now because we have content where um win type characters are benefit and he's the only breaker so he's actually going to be very very useful but then you are requiring a buffer and luckily the devs already know that so there is going to be a buffer coming soon that could potentially make this character even more broken i have a couple of issues with this character she's a selfish unit she does not provide much to your song jewel or to your teammates as you can see nothing to your teammates she's similar to this other character in which i told you guys to skip because she also offers nothing to your teammates compared to the other dps we have like alicia she of course offers the shield she offers the removal of debuff we take a look at charhaim she also offers the unrecoverable and the increased crit rate and crit damage so this character is not a free to play friendly character i do not believe so because you don't even need one copy of if you wanted to summon for her to get that one copy i would say no absolutely not just for one copy no you might as well just keep using hong dong su um if you already having one copy is going to be a, a, as good as her at a zero um and then the buffer we're going to be getting is also going to be able to buff this guy up as well so and essentially she is not a must have even if her damage is crazy at well it's on the same level as trying and alicia but even then she still falls short because they offer way more to your team way more to your your account i already mentioned this alicia is the broken character in the game because she just doesn't only do damage she cc's she offers shield she is just crazy alicia is broken even though trahane does good amount of damage similar to to alicia Alicia will still win every single time in my books because of the other utility she has now if you're trying to compare this character let's just assume she does more damage than Charhane Charhane will still be better to have than this character because Charhane offers more to your team compared to Mire Mire over here so she's a good character don't get me wrong but again I don't think you need to get this character you don't need to summon for her if you're just going for a zero it's a easy do not need to now of course we do know that we're getting Hong Dong uh, no, Gogon He, the S rank hunter, he's a light type character. We don't know exactly what he's going to be, but everyone assumes he's going to be a damage dealer. However, I think he's going to be a breaker unit because we already have a, a Charhane over here, who is our main DPS character. We already have Min, who is our support character. Of course, we have the other Beck, who is a good break character. But honestly, Gogon He is going to probably be a break character because. Um, he just seems like a character who'd break but also do a good amount of damage so many people are saying you don't need him if you're going for damage because you already have alicia or charhane sorry so you don't necessarily need a not var broken damage dealer for the light team but i don't think that they're going to make him like that because i think he's going to be a breaker so the best team would be um, charhane min and then gogon he and i think that's going to be a pretty good team we just have to wait and see what the devs are planning but of course he's an s rank character he's, he's going to have a special release so i do believe he's going to be a must have compared to this character over here so again i think she's a good dps character but you should skip her if you're free to play she doesn't offer much to your account she is a win type character but we already have a good win type character already he might not be crazy but that's the same thing with this character unless you're able to consistently alt when she's out of cooldown you won't be seeing the crazy amount of damage consistently with this character so it's just better to use hong Jun su instead um and you should be fine you should be fine of course at a3 then i think she's actually better than hong dong su because um you're able to consistently alt damage is good but at a5 she's definitely gonna be better than hong dong su but of course that's not free to play uh 
well, it's not possible for free to play to do that just yet, but in the future, she's definitely going to be the go-to win type character. But for now, free to play should skip her. It's as easy as that. Um, so far, we've gotten two characters that I've said is a skip. I do think Yu Sun Hu is a skip. I do think this character is also a skip. But in my book, she is pretty much more important than Yu Sun Hu because um, I think Choi is just comparable with this character. Um, but uh, and we already know that we do need to get Gun Gun He. He's not going to be a deal. It's going to be a breaker. And even if it does great damage, you still want to break on your team anyway. So it's going to be very useful to have him. So unless the devs are extremely stupid, they would not make him just a flat DPS character. He has to be a breaker unit. And he's a light type character. So that's something we need to pay attention to. But we are also going to be getting a support character for this character. So if that support character comes out and she's absolutely crazy, actually, no, you always should be getting support units. No matter what. Every support character that comes out, you must get. Honestly, the free to play support characters come first over any DPS character because you will always have other DPS characters that you can use. But with that support character, they elevate that DPS and it's just always better. Same thing with Melon Fisher, insanely broken, but you definitely need you definitely need her. Same thing with Min, you definitely need him. Those are the two main support characters you need. But if you don't have them, you can also use Lee Boro as well, and that should be fine. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been your boy AC Gamer, and I'm out.